2014 with a total build up of 235,000 square meter. And the imperial structure design is based on traditional fort with a number of elements representing defense building from the past. On your left hand side, you'll find the Doha Fire Station Museum. It is a hub for creative exchange which provides perfect springboard for creativity for the people who want to take their passion to the next level. The station was built in the year of 1982 as a civil defense building. It was occupied by the fire brigade until 2012 when it was handed over to Qatar National Museum. Nowadays, the Doha Far Station Museums offer nine months program for an artist who reside here in Qatar. It also has an exhibition area where some temporary exhibition take place. And uh, talking about water, since the water here in Qatar is too precious and infrequent, source of water is from the sea water after the process of desalination. Tap water is also clean and safe to drink. Aside of that, Qatar also recycled water in two types which called black and gray. Gray water is the water used from showers. Once they recycled it, they're going to be using it for landscape, watering plants and trees or irrigation. While black water is the water used from kitchens and toilets. Once recycled it, they're going to be using it for the construction site. On your right hand side is the MP camp, military police camp. They also have here the three Qatar army camp located at the west part of Qatar. And the Qatar naval air force camp located at the old airport. So all the camp is part of traditional fort. While on your left and right side is the Audida park, one of the largest park in the region. Has a huge over 2 million square meter. It has underground space parking for 6,000 cars, a massive area for barbecuing, tennis court, basketball court, volleyball court, and of course, Alvida Park features a large gymnasium, including one for women. Alvida Park is also a pet friendly park. Traditional livestock in Qatar include sheep, goats, and camels. Since 2018, dairy cows are also being raised in Qatar as a self-country sufficiently drive. Also, there are a number of farms that supply local market with produce fruits, vegetables, meat, and poultry. And actually, Qatar also import hundred thousands of cows from New Zealand, which now all farms are facilities located at the northern part of Qatar. And Qatar also start to export dairy products into other countries like in Afghanistan, Oman, and Yemen. As I mentioned, the transportation here in Qatar exists in forms of buses and taxis. So if next time if you're planning to visit Qatar again in your return journey and you want to use public transportation, there's a public bus from the airport at bound to the city. It's called Garwa Blue Bus. It runs until 12 midnight. It has bus stop at the Cornish area, city center shopping mall, the Pearl Qatar and Subwaki standing market. Minimum fare is about 3 US dollar or 10 Qatar real, but you need to wait approximately 20-30 minutes for the bus in Jerba. While taxi from the market is bound directly back to the airport in a cost of 15 US dollar, 45 to 50 Qatar real. Uber also works here in Qatar. There's also metro. Uh, from market bound directly back to the airport Just only half of US dollar, but it only runs until 11 in the night time So now ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching to our last stop. We're approaching to soup Wakiti standing market the traditional market The soup was founded at least a century ago in a proximity dry river bed known Wadi Mashrep it was a gathering place where Bedouins and locals would trade a variety of goods, primary livestock goods. However, in the boom of prosperities in the 1990s, 
The soup fell in decline in 2003 most of it was destroyed in a fire. This event initiated the restoration program by the government with a purpose of preserving its architectural and historical identity. The restoration program completed in the year of 2008. Now at the market, you will find a lot of shops selling souvenirs, handicrafts, paintings, bags and clothes, Bazaar selling dried fruits, nuts, sweet spices, and chocolates by the grams or by the kilos. You will also find her birds or pets market. Gold market. Gold the good quality but cheaper price unlike inside a shopping mall. Let the restaurants offer local adult food, even international cuisine, as well as a coffee shop. For those of you who want to try some Arab cuisine here in Qatar, they love to eat heavy food. They love to eat rice. If you know the biryan of India, similarities of that one. But here it's called majgus. What a choice of with fish, chicken, shrimp, and lamb. If you also want to try some kebab. But if you want to have some food while walking around inside the market, you can have some sandwiches, shawarma, scraps, or burgers. If you also want to try some Arab sweets, you can find it here as well at the bazaar. Like the kunafa and baklava. And uh, by the way, larger establishment also accept credit card. A smaller establishment, most of them they only accept cash or different currencies like euros and US dollars. And if you want to get some cash, there's also ATM inside the market. If you're going to pay by euro and US dollar, they will give you a change by Qatar Riyadh.